Well, what a demonstration. Can I first of all say how proud I am to share a platform with the leader of our Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. A man, a man who has fought for the National Health Service all his life and will continue to do so because of the decent, honest, principled man that he is. Can I just welcome all of you here and say a big well done to the People's Assembly and to all of those organisations around our nation who are fighting to keep the NHS in public service. And can I thank you for all being here today. You've travelled from every city in our nation and the police have advised us that there is 250,000 on this march. Thank you for being here. Of course, if the police say 250,000, well, I'll leave it to your own imagination. Colleagues, let me just remind us of what Ernie Bevan said when he gave us the National Health Service. He said the NHS would only survive if folk were prepared to fight for it. Ernie, uh, Nye said that, Nye said that at the time. Nye said that because he knew, he knew that the reactionary forces within our society would always try to claw back this fantastic, fantastic organisation. And that's why you are here today to fight, fight, fight for our NHS. Two weeks ago, Nye Bevan would be proud of all of you today. Two weeks ago, I marched in Leicester, the largest demonstration that has ever been seen in Leicester, defending the Glenfield Children's Heart Unit that they're trying to close down. And that's why today you are the voice of millions and millions of people. I want to share something personal with you today. My mum and dad lost their firstborn son when he was three years old. It was pre the National Health Service and he died because of a lack of health care. My mum told me of the scenes in the 20s and the 30s of young mothers with sick children begging on the streets in order to get a few pennies so they could see the doctors. And they drilled into me how important it was. It was their generation, it was our parents and our grandparents who fought to give us our National Health Service. It's our heritage. It's our heritage. It's our heritage and it's our duty to make certain that we pass on our health service, our health service to future generations. You know, we are told by people we can't afford the NHS. We can't not afford the NHS. Our message to the, co our message to the government is easy. You bailed out the banks, bail out the NHS as well. And our message, our message to the private health company vultures is a simple one. Keep out of our NHL, our NHS, you thieving Tory bastards. Because we will fight you all of the way, sisters and brothers. Keep the faith and keep fighting for what is ours. Thanks for being here.